Washington today. She just had a baby daughter. I would, however, like to highlight her achievements. Um, Ms. Yanoksne is a journalist and anchor of Latvia's top current affairs TV program, De Facto. She is a trailblazer in the fight against political corruption in Latvia. And in March 2006, she broke the story of a vote buying scandal involving prominent national political leaders from several powerful parties. Her report led to the indictment of several high-ranking political figures and forced the resignation of a minister. In the face of harassment by political forces attempting to discredit her and by extension her work, Ms. Jan Oxne took the government to court and sued for defamation of character. Her case, by the way, was the first of its kind in Latvia. The judge ruled in her favor and the state was ordered to pay her damages, another landmark achievement. In the face of great opposition and threats to her own life, Ms. Jan Uxne is helping to bring about reform for this new democratic nation. She is given the International Women of Courage Award, and let me read her citation. For her dedication to telling the truth through groundbreaking investigative journalism on corruption in Latvia. Join me in congratulating her. <laughs> Dr. Samia Almudi is an obstetrician gynecologist and former vice dean of the College of Medicine and Allied Science at King Abdulaziz University in Jeddah. Having diagnosed her own breast cancer, at a very advanced stage in March 2006, and despite her own medical career, Dr. Al Amudi struggled to get an appropriate diagnosis and treat options. She was the first Saudi to share her personal battle with this disease, breaking the silence to speak out about its impact. As a single parent, full-time physician and spokeswoman, the doctor has advocated strongly to increase awareness and to highlight the urgent need for enhanced medical care even during her own treatment for breast cancer. Understanding that a woman's silence can lead, can quickly lead to death if cancer is ignored or if women do not have access to care and treatment. She has contributed to raising public awareness for Saudi women and families across the kingdom and the region. I am pleased to present the Secretary of State's Award for International Women of Courage to Dr. Samia al Amudi, And let me read the citation. For her willingness to share her personal battle against breast cancer in order to break the silence on issues critical to women's health in Saudi Arabia. Congratulations, doctor. <laughs> Maria Ahmed Didi is one of six women in the 50-member parliament and one of only two elected women in Maldives, a Muslim country making